Hello, today's talk is uh, what is England's place in world order? In, uh, in that England sits between the EU and the United States and also was once a massive maritime power in its own right because of the British Empire. Uh, our uh, country once ruled over a quarter of the world's uh, territory and population and had the largest maritime and uh, military naval fleet in the world. Now what is the way forward for England? Well, England in the future may become the largest country in population to the EU, but on the other hand we have the American economic model rather than in contrast to Germany which is export led and has a productive and very highly industrialised uh, economy. Um, England's been going through a process of deindustrialization uh, we have we're an import-led country and we are debt ridden uh, we have massive massive debts just like the Americans uh, but this this uh, ec form of economy when it's booming creates very very high employment and very low employment whereas Germany has got quite high unemployment uh, it's in the booms when the fragility of this kind of economic model shows up because there's, un which unlike in America, we really do have a quite a good welfare system in this country, but um, still our, our, uh, our main structure is that we have a central bank which creates fiat money, which is not backed by um, gold, for instance. Um, but um, the the euro is partially backed by gold. Why would it not be a good idea for us to return to the gold standard, though? Well, the gold standard doesn't reflect economic progress. It doesn't reflect um, technology being being brought into the economy. On the other hand, why is it not good to have a, a totally fiat currency? Because a totally fiat currency has no intrinsic value in itself. It's it, it it basically means that you can keep inflating and inflating the economy and now we're we're talking about something called quantitative easing which is just simply printing money uh, so that the central bank the bank of england can buy out people's assets um, now this might come across to sounding a bit like a ponzi scheme as the say in the united states um, i'm not sure i mean uh, we have to see if it works or not. We have to give it a chance, I suppose, because we've got no alternative at the moment. But it does mean that the value of the pound, the more you inflate your uh, currency, the less value the pound has. Now, my idea would be to have a uh, partially gold and partially fiat uh, currency. So you have the gold as the break or the stabiliser and the fiat money um, based on a large in index of goods and services which we already have in the form of uh, the retail price index which is a basket of goods to um, of different weights some things like loose tea are not invite, um, used anymore some things like techno new things like um, iPods and downloads are included in that basket of goods that shows progress that shows that the economy can grow if it was all on the gold standard, then perhaps the economy wouldn't grow as fast. Um, but we're in a unique financial crisis here because, in Europe at least, we're not suffering from underproduction or stagflation. We're suffering from too much inflation earlier on and now a massive uh, deflation because we produce so much. Then there's, but yet there's no market for it. So we're going through a, a correction. Is that a good thing? No, not really. If you've lost your job in your house, right? Um, but what does this mean for England's place in the world? Uh, we to be simply a satellite of the Euro European Union or a satellite of uh, America, or should we go our own way and build up a massive um, trading fleet and navy as we did before? Well, personally, I think. We have a lot to gain from being in the EU because of um, the uh, 
size of our population and uh, if we can just make ourselves a productive economy like Germany on that model then we can start trading the rest of the world and also help the Americans out because they'll be buying our goods and they might need our machine tools to produce more to um, to uh, send stuff to China um, I'll leave it up to I'll leave it up to you for discussion and um, please leave your comments down uh, to uh, let us know what you think which way should England go in the what in the uh, in this in this uh, globalizing world or should we stop globalization um, personally I don't think that would be a good idea but um, we'll have to see